Psychology 2. Chapter 1 Introduction to Psychology. Chapter 1 Introduction to Psychology. What is psychology? An education in psychology is valuable for a number of reasons. Psychology students hone critical thinking skills and are trained in the use of the scientific method. Critical thinking is the active application of a set of skills to information for the understanding and evaluation of that information. Learning Objectives By the end of this section, you will be able to Define Psychology Understand the merits of an education in psychology History and Roots of Psychology Behaviorism, Pavlov, Watson, and Skinner John B. Watson is known as the father of behaviorism within psychology. Watson thought that the study of consciousness was flawed because he believed that objective analysis of the mind was impossible. Little Albert, a study of classical conditioning. Ivan Pavlov. Early work in the field of behavior was conducted by the Russian physiologist Ivan Pavlov, 1849-1936. Pavlov studied a form of learning behavior called a conditioned reflex, in which an animal or human produced a reflex, unconscious, response to a stimulus and, over time, was conditioned to produce the response to a different stimulus that the experimenter associated with the original stimulus. B. F. Skinner is famous for his research on operant conditioning. Modified versions of the operant conditioning chamber, or Skinner box, are still widely used in research settings today. Personality psychology focuses on patterns of thoughts and behaviors that make each individual unique. Carl Jung was a neo-Freudian psychologist who developed the idea of the collective unconscious. O. Jung believed that the collective unconscious was an inherited collection of knowledge and images that everyone has at birth. Catherine Briggs and Isabel Myers created the Myers-Briggs personality test is based off of Jung's archetype theories. Humanism is a perspective within psychology that emphasizes the potential for good that is innate to all humans. Two of the most well-known proponents of humanistic psychology are Abraham Maslow and Carl Rogers. Carl Rogers Carl Rogers developed a client-centered therapy method that has been influential in clinical settings. Rogers believed that a therapist needed to display three features to maximize the effectiveness of this particular approach, unconditional positive regard, genuineness, and empathy. Unconditional positive regard refers to the fact that the therapist accepts their client for who they are, no matter what he or she might say. Carl Rogers in his own words. The curious paradox is that when I accept myself just as I am, then I can change. Carl R. Rogers. Quote Fancy Jean Piaget is famous for his theories regarding changes in cognitive ability that occur as we move from infancy to adulthood. He demonstrated that very young children do not demonstrate object permanence, the understanding that physical things continue to exist, even if they are hidden from us. Eric Erickson's Eight Stages of Psychosocial Development Cognitive psychology is the area of psychology that focuses thinking cognitions, and their relationship to our experiences and our actions. Cognitive Psychology The Cognitive Revolution, by the 1950s, new disciplinary perspectives in linguistics, neuroscience, and computer science were emerging, and these areas revived interest in the mind as a focus of scientific inquiry. Noam Chomsky was very influential in beginning the Cognitive Revolution. In 2010, this mural honoring him was put up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Feminist Psychology Until the 1960s, the science of psychology was largely a womanless psychology. Naomi Weisstein, first published in 1968, criticized male psychologists for constructing the psychology of women entirely out of their own cultural biases. Crawford and Marisek, 1989, identified several feminist approaches to psychology that can be described as feminist psychology. These include re-evaluating and discovering the contributions of women to the history of psychology, studying psychological gender differences, and questioning the male bias present across the practice of the scientific approach to knowledge. Psychology Anna M. A. A. Y. Mamie 
Freud Ainsworth Befies Giarc. Social and Cross-Cultural Psychology Culture has important impacts on individuals and social psychology, yet the effects of culture on psychology are understudied. All foundational theories in psychology were determined from white American males which makes it imperative to study race, gender, and other cultural differences. The history we know is incomplete, all we know are the accounts of those privileged enough to record their version. In the words of James Baldwin, My point of view certainly is formed by my history, and it is probably that only a creature despised by history finds history a questionable matter. On the other hand, people who imagine that history flatters them, as it does, indeed. Phone by William H. Greer Even the rat was white views history from all perspectives in the quest for historical accuracy. Histories and other background materials are presented in detail concerning early African-American psychologists and their scientific contributions, as well as their problems, views, and concerns of the field of social psychology. Archival documents that are not often found in mainstream resources are uncovered through the use of journals and magazines, such as the Journal of Black Psychology, the Journal of Negro Education, and Crisis. Since they wrote it, are impaled on their history like a butterfly on a pin and become incapable of seeing or changing themselves, or the world. Social and Cross-Cultural Psychology The father of black psychology, Francis Cecil Sumner was the first African American to receive a PhD in psychology. Sumner established a psychology degree program at Howard University, leading to the education of a new generation of African American psychologists. Mamie Phipps Clark and her husband Kenneth revealed that African American children became aware of their racial identity as early as three years old. Kenneth and Mamie Clark discuss their doll study, which was influential in the Brown vs. Board of Education Supreme Court decision. NPR Podcast Social and cultural psychology often focuses on social identity and the power of groups and the biases that emerge amongst them. In the context of social identity, a group of people who share a sense of belonging or a feeling of common identity is called an in-group while a group that people perceive as distinctively different from or apart from their own group is called an outgroup. Social Psychology OPE and Stacks Trademark College Public Announcement We will pay US 4.00 for one hour of your time. Persons needed for a study of memory. Asterisk we will pay 500 new human men to help UT complete a scientific study of memory and learning. Psychology 2. Chapter 1 Introduction to Psychology. What is psychology? An education in psychology is valuable for a number of reasons. Psychology students hone critical thinking skills and are trained in the use of the scientific method. NPR Podcast. Social and cultural psychology often focuses on social identity and the power of groups and the biases that emerge amongst them. In the context of social identity, a group of people who share a sense of belonging or a feeling of common identity is called an in-group, while a group that people perceive as distinctively different from or apart from their own group is called an out-group. Social Psychology OPE and Stacks Trademark College Public Announcement We will pay US 4.00 for one hour of your time. Persons needed for a study of memory. Asterisk we will pay 500 new human men to help UT complete a scientific study of memory and learning. The study is being done at Yale University. Black Diamond each person who participates will be paid $4, plus 50 C car fare, for approximately one hour's time. 
We need you for only one hour, there are no further obligations. You may choose the time you would like to come, evenings, weekdays, or weekends. Asterisk no special training, education, or experience is needed. WC want. Factory workers, businessmen, construction workers. City employees, clerks, salespeople. Laborers, professional people, white collar workers. Barbers, telephone workers, others. O persons must be between the ages of 20 and 50. High school and college students cannot be used. You meet these qualifications, fill out the coupon below and mail it now to Professor Stanley Milgram, Department OT Psychology, Yale University, New Haven. You will be notified later of the specific time and place of the study. We reserve the right to decline any application. Black Diamond you will be paid $4, plus 50c car fare, as soon as you arrive at the laboratory. Stanley Mike Graham's shocking research demonstrated just how far people will go in obeying orders from an authority figure. This advertisement was used to recruit subjects for his research. Obedience Study Philip Zimbardo and the Stanford Prison Experiment revealed the power of the situation. There are many problems with this study and we will discuss in CH. 12. Psyche comes to represent the human soul's triumph over the misfortunes of life in the pursuit of true happiness, Bullfinch, as cited in OpenStax, 2015. The soul is not separable from the body, and the same holds good of particular parts of the soul. Aristotle, De Anima, 350 BC. The rootology denotes scientific study of, and psychology refers to the scientific study of the mind. Since science studies only observable phenomena and the mind is not directly observable, we expand this definition to the scientific study of mind and behavior. History of Psychology Learning Objectives By the end of this section, you will be able to Understand the importance of Bunt and James in the development of psychology Appreciate Freud's influence on psychology Understand the basic tenets of Gestalt psychology Appreciate the important role that behaviorism played in psychology's history Understand basic tenets of humanism Understand how the cognitive revolution shifted psychology's focus back to the mind. Psychology's fundamental questions have their roots in ancient Greek philosophers such as Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, who explored topics such as pleasure, pain, knowledge, motivation, rationality, and mental illness topics often discussed in psychology today. René Descartes theorized that the body and mind are separate entities, dualism. According to dualism, the body is a physical entity, with scientifically measurable behavior, while the mind is a spiritual entity that cannot be measured because it transcends the material world. Wilhelm Wundt is credited as one of the founders of psychology. He created the first laboratory for psychological research. Wundt, not Freud, is the true father of psychology. Introspection objective observation of one's conscious experiences to understand its most fundamental elements. OA Periodic Table of the Mind William James was the first American psychologist. Funct functionalism James believed psychology's purpose was to study the function of behavior in the world. James' functionalism posited that the operation of the whole mind was more important than that of its individual parts, structuralism. Consciousness, then, does not appear to itself chopped up in bits, a river or a stream are the metaphors by which it is most naturally described. In talking of it hereafter, let us call it the stream of thought, of consciousness, or of subjective life. William James Structuralism Analyze consciousness into basic elements and study how they are related. 9. Vitrospection, self-observation of one's own conscious experiences. Functionalism Investigate the function, or purpose of consciousness rather than its structure. Lean toward applied work, 
Natural Surroundings Contemporary Approaches to Psychology P.E. and Stack's Trademark College Study Organizer 1.1 <laughs> Modern Psychology 7 Major Perspectives 7 The Planner Perspectives Psychodynamic Behavioral Major Emphases Unconscious Drives, Motives, Conflicts, and Childhood Experiences Objective, Observable, Environmental Influences on Overt Behavior, Stimulus Response Relationships and Consequences for Behavior Humanistic Free Will, Self-Actualization, and Human Nature as Naturally Positive and Growth Seeking Sample Research Questions how do adult personality traits or psychological problems reflect unconscious processes and early childhood experiences? How do we learn both our good and bad habits? How can we increase desirable behaviors and decrease undesirable ones? How can we promote a client's capacity for self-actualization and understanding of his or her own development? How can we promote international peace and reduce violence? A general introduction to Psychoanalysis by Prof. Sigmund Freud, LLD Avru Umatasilation with A. Pupax Boney and Liveroid Publishers New York G. Stanley Hall Pusipant, C. U. K. K. Unravezardi Sigmund Freud was a highly influential figure in the history of psychology. One of his many books, A General Introduction to Psychoanalysis, shared his ideas about psychoanalytic therapy, it was published in 1922. Psychoanalytic theory focuses on the role of a person's unconscious, as well as early childhood experiences. Biological influences. Genetic predispositions. Genetic mutations. Natural selection of adaptive physiology and behaviors. Genes responding to the environment. Psychological influences. Learned fears and other learned expectations. Emotional responses. Cognitive processing and perceptual interpretations. Social cultural influences. Presence of others. Cultural, societal, and family expectations. Peer and other group influences. Compelling models, such as the media. Biological psychologists study how the structure and function of the nervous system generate behavior. The research interests of biological psychologists, sensory and motor systems, sleep, drug use and abuse, ingestive behavior, reproductive behavior, neurodevelopment, plasticity of the nervous system, and biological correlates of psychological disorders. The biopsychosocial model of health. Physical health p disability. Biological. Genetic vulnerabilities. Drug effects temperament. Mental health. Self-esteem. Social. Family circumstances. Family relationships. Coping skills. Trauma. School. Social skills. The biopsychosocial model suggests that health illness is determined by an interaction of these three factors. Cognitive behavioral therapists take cognitive processes and behaviors into account when providing psychotherapy. This is one of several strategies that may be used by practicing clinical psychologists. Forensic psychology. Criminal behavior. Social issues. Knowledge of law. Psychological assessment. Work with legal system. Clinical psychology is the area of psychology that focuses on the diagnosis and treatment of psychological disorders and other problematic patterns of behavior. Counseling psychology is a similar discipline that focuses on emotional, social, vocational, and health-related outcomes in individuals who are considered psychologically healthy. Forensic psychology is a branch of psychology that deals questions of psychology as they arise in the context of the legal system. 
The American Psychological Association is the largest organization of psychology with 160,000 members worldwide, followed by the British Psychological Society with 34,000 members. APA mission is to advance the creation, communication, and application of psychological knowledge to benefit society and improve people's lives. Anyone wishing to continue a career in psychology at a four-year institution of higher education will have to earn a doctoral degree in psychology for some specialties and at least a master's degree for others. A PhD, Doctorate of Philosophy, differs from a PsyD, which is a Doctor of Psychology degree that is increasingly popular among individuals interested in pursuing careers in clinical psychology. PsyD programs generally place less emphasis on research-oriented skills and focus more on application of psychological principles in the clinical context, Norkers's and Castle, 2002. While both can conduct therapy and counseling, clinical psychologists have a PhD or a PsyD, whereas psychiatrists have a Doctor of Medicine degree, MD. Percent of 2009 psychology doctorates employed in different sectors. University, 26%. Hospital or health service, 25%. Government slash VA medical center, 16%. Business or nonprofit, 10%. Other educational institutions, 8%. Medical school, 6%. Independent practice, 6%. Source, Mikalski, Coat. Wickersky, and Hart, 2011. Individuals earning a PhD in psychology have a range of employment options. Biopsychology slash neuroscience investigates the relationship between biology, behavior, and mental processes, including how physical and chemical processes affect the structure and function of the brain and nervous system. Clinical psychology specializes in the evaluation, diagnosis, and treatment of psychological disorders. Cognitive psychology examines higher mental processes, including thought, memory, intelligence, creativity, and language. Comparative psychology studies the behavior and mental processes of non-human animals, emphasizes evolution and cross-species comparisons. Counseling psychology overlaps with clinical psychology, but generally works with less seriously disordered individuals and focuses more on social, educational, and career adjustment. Cross-cultural psychology studies similarities and differences in and across various cultures and ethnic groups. Developmental psychology studies the course of human growth and development from conception to death. Educational psychology studies the processes of education and works to promote the intellectual, social, and emotional development of children in the school environment. Environmental psychology. Individuals earning AP. Investigates how people affect and are affected by the physical environment HD in psychology have a range of employment options. Experimental psychology examines processes such as learning, conditioning, motivation, emotion, sensation, and perception in humans and other animals. Note that psychologists working in almost all areas of specialization also conduct experiments. Sample careers and specialties in psychology table 1.1. Forensic psychology applies principles of psychology to the legal system, including jury selection, psychological profiling, assessment, and treatment of offenders. Gender and slash or cultural psychology investigates how men and women and different cultures vary from one another and how they are similar. Health psychology studies how biological, psychological, and social factors affect health and illness. Industrial slash organizational psychology applies principles of psychology to the workplace, including personnel selection and evolution, leadership job satisfaction, employee motivation, and group processes within the organization. Personality psychology studies the unique and relatively stable patterns in a person's thoughts, feelings, and actions. Positive psychology examines factors related to optimal human functioning. School psychology collaborates with teachers, 
parents, and students within the educational system to help children with needs related to a disability and slash or their academic and social progress, also provides evaluation and assessment of a student's functioning and eligibility for special services. Social psychology. Individuals earning it. Investigates the role of social forces in interpersonal behavior, including aggression, Ph. in psychology have an age of employment options. Sports psychology applies principles of psychology to enhance physical performance. The Greek philosopher Socrates worried that writing a new learning objectives. By the end of this section, you will be able to explain how scientific research addresses questions about behavior. Discuss how scientific research guides public policy. Appreciate how scientific research can be important in making personal decisions. Technology at that time would diminish people's ability to remember because they could rely on written records rather than committing information to memory. Why is research important? How does television content impact children's behavior? Why do people do bad things, murder, steal, sexual slash domestic violence, racism, etc.? Does anonymity online via social media or other forums affect how you interact with people? What is the nature of the behavior or mental process? Boys are more aggressive than girls. Explain. Why does this behavior or mental process occur? Research indicates that there are numerous interacting causes or explanations for aggression, including culture, learning, genes, brain damage, and high levels of testosterone. Predict. When will this behavior or mental process occur? Knowing that alcohol leads to increased aggression, we can predict that more fights will erupt. In places where alcohol is consumed than in those where alcohol isn't consumed. Change. How can we change this behavior or mental process? Psychologists help people improve their work environment, stop addictive behaviors, become less depressed, improve their family relationships. Some of our ancestors, across the world and over the centuries, believed that trepanation the practice of making a hole in the skull, as shown here allowed evil spirits to leave the body, thus, curing mental illness and other disorders. At various times in history, we would have been certain that the sun revolved around a flat earth, that the earth's continents did not move, and that mental illness was caused by possession, number alternative facts. More than ever before, we have an incredible amount of information at our fingertips, but one study found that the use of technology in undergraduate student populations had negative impacts on sleep, communication, and time management skills, Massey, Minnie and Peterson, 2009. Combating misinformation. We should strive to think critically about the information we encounter by exercising a degree of healthy skepticism. When someone makes a claim, we should examine the claim from a number of different perspectives. What is the expertise of the person making the claim? What might they gain if the claim is valid? Does the claim seem justified given the evidence? What do other researchers think of the claim? This is especially important when we consider how much information in advertising campaigns and on the internet claims to be based on scientific evidence when in actuality it is a belief or perspective of just a few individuals trying to sell a product or draw attention to their perspectives. Facts are observable realities, and opinions are personal judgments, conclusions, or attitudes that may or may not be accurate. Sadly, our ability to assess facts is a highly emotional process subject to misinformation and propaganda. Psychological research relies on both inductive and deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning, results are predicted based on a general premise. Inductive reasoning, conclusions are drawn from observations. Research and observations example, administer tests of self-esteem and depression. See if a low score on one predicts a high score on the other. Theories example, low self-esteem feeds depression. Lead to. 2. Hypotheses example, people with low self-esteem will score higher on a depression scale. 
The scientific method of research includes proposing hypotheses, conducting research, and creating or modifying theories based on results. A theory is a well-developed set of ideas that propose an explanation for observed phenomena. A hypothesis is a testable prediction about how the world will behave if our idea is correct, and it is often worded as an if-then statement. A scientific hypothesis is falsifiable, capable of being shown to be incorrect. Falsifiability and validity Many of the specifics of a. Freud's theories, such as b. his division of the mind into id, ego, and superego, have fallen out of favor in recent decades because they are not testable and thus not falsifiable. In broader strokes, his views set the stage for much of psychological thinking today, such as the unconscious nature of the majority of psychological processes. Approaches to Research Learning Objectives By the end of this section, you will be able to Describe the different research methods used by psychologists Discuss the strengths and weaknesses of case studies, naturalistic observation, surveys, and archival research Compare longitudinal and cross-sectional approaches to research Compare and contrast correlation and causation Clinical eye case study observational research study focusing on one or a few people popularized by freud generalizing refers to the ability to apply the findings of a particular research project to larger segments of society observer bias people who act as observers are closely involved in the research project and may unconsciously slash unintentionally skew their observations to fit their research goals or expectations interrater reliability a measure of reliability that assesses the consistency of observations by different observers. Dear visitor, your opinion is important to us. We would like to invite you to participate in a short survey to gather your opinions and feedback on your news consumption habits. The survey will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Simply click the yes button below to launch the survey. Surveys are lists of questions to be answered by research participants and can be delivered as paper and pencil questionnaires, administered electronically, or conducted verbally. Surveys can be administered in a number of ways, including electronically administered research, like the survey shown here. Some researchers gain access to large amounts of data without interacting with a single research participant. Instead, they use existing records to answer various research questions. This type of research approach is known as archival research. A researcher doing archival research examines records, whether archived as a, a, hard copy or b, electronically. Archival research relies on looking at past records or data sets to look for interesting patterns or relationships. Longitudinal and cross-sectional research. Trademark. Cross-sectional studies. Participants of different ages studied at the same time. Longitudinal studies. One group of people studied over a period of time. Sometimes we want to see how people change over time, as in studies of human development and lifespan. Longitudinal research is a research design in which data gathering is administered repeatedly over an extended period of time. Cross-sectional research is where a researcher compares multiple segments of the population at the same time. Analyzing findings. Learning objectives. By the end of this section, you will be able to Explain what a correlation coefficient tells us about the relationship between variables. Recognize that correlation does not indicate a cause and effect relationship between variables. Discuss our tendency to look for relationships between variables that do not really exist. Explain random sampling and assignment of participants into experimental and control groups. Discuss how experimenter or participant bias could affect the results of an experiment. Identify independent and dependent variables. Causes and effects. Just because there is a strong relationship between two variables does not mean there is a causal relationship. 
Correlation means that there is a relationship between two or more variables, such as ice cream consumption and crime, but this relationship does not necessarily imply cause and effect. Correlation studies are limited because establishing the existence of a relationship tells us little about cause and effect. A confounding variable is an outside influence that changes the effect of a dependent and independent variable or any relationship between observed variables. Illusory correlations, false correlations, occur when people believe that relationships exist between two things when no such relationship exists. We find illusory correlations based on the information that comes most easily to mind, even if that information is severely limited. Confirmation bias, we have a hunch about how something works and then look for evidence to support that hunch, ignoring evidence that would tell us our hunch is false. Correlation and causation. OPE and Stacks trademark. College. Do yard sales increase ice cream sales? Does eating cereal really cause someone to be a healthy weight? Does the moon make people behave badly? In a real-world example of negative correlation, student researchers at the University of Minnesota found a weak negative correlation, R equals minus 0.29, between the average number of days per week that students got fewer than five hours of sleep and their GPA, Lowry, Dean, and Manders, 2010. Headline, Women Who Own Horses Live Longer. September 10, 18, 1018 p.m. Correlation and Causation. OpenStax Trademark. College. Correlation Coefficient. Shows Strength and Direction of Correlation. Strong 4 Week Week Strong II. Minus 1.0 minus 0 0.5 0.0, .0 .0 plus 0 0.5 plus 1.0. Negative 0 Positive Correlation Correlation. Correlation means that there is a relationship between two or more variables. A correlation coefficient is a number from minus 1 to plus 1 that indicates the strength and direction of the relationship between variables. The correlation coefficient is usually represented by the letter R. Positive correlation means that the variables move in the same direction. Negative correlation means that the variables move in opposite directions. Wait. A. Positive correlation. Tiredness. B. Negative correlation. Scatter plots are a graphical view of the strength and direction of correlations. The stronger the correlation, the closer the data points are to a straight line. In these examples, we see that there is a, a positive correlation between weight and height, B. A negative correlation between tiredness and hours of sleep, and C. No correlation between shoe size and hours of sleep. Correlation is not equal to causation. Number of people who drowned by falling into a pool correlates with. Films Nicolas Cage appeared in. Descriptive, correlational, experimental methods. Comparing research methods. Research method basic purpose how conducted what is manipulated weaknesses. Descriptive to observe and record behavior do case studies, surveys, or naturalistic observations nothing no control of variables, single cases may be misleading. Correlational to detect naturally occurring relationships, to assess how well one variable predicts another compute statistical association, sometimes among survey responses nothing does not specify cause and effect. Experimental to explore cause and effect manipulate one or more factors, Use random assignment the independent variable, s, sometimes not feasible, results may not generalize to other contexts, not. Designing an experiment. Pre-test study post-test. Slash experimental group. Random. Assignment. Control group. MOGMS. Pre-test h post-test. Study minus 57. The experimental group gets the experimental manipulation that is, the treatment or variable being tested, in this case, violent TV images, and the control group does not. Psychology of happiness. A number two. 
What is backslash slash happiness? Operational definition is a precise description of our variables. It is important to operationalize variables to understand exactly how and what a researcher measures in a particular experiment. E.g. if you are interested in happiness, how do you know if someone is happy? Our trials show that the new drug performs no better than placebo. Single blind study, one of the groups, participants, are unaware as to which group they are in, experimental or control group, but the researcher knows. Double blind study, both the researchers and the participants are blind to group assignments to avoid bias. Experimenter bias refers to the possibility that a researcher's expectations might skew the results of the study. The placebo effect occurs when people's expectations or beliefs influence or determine their experience in a given situation. In other words, simply expecting something to happen can actually make it happen. Providing the control group with a placebo treatment protects against bias caused by expectancy. Dependent variable. In an experiment, manipulations of the independent variable, for, are expected to result in changes in the dependent variable, dv. Researchers may work with a, a large population or, b a sample group that is a subset of the larger population. Participants are the subjects of psychological research, and as the name implies, Individuals who are involved in psychological research actively participate in the process. Sample and population. A sample is a subset of individuals selected from a population, which is the overall group of individuals that the researchers are interested in. Researchers study the sample and seek to generalize their findings to the population. A random sample is a subset of a larger population in which every member of the population has an equal chance of being selected. With random assignment, all participants have an equal chance of being assigned to either group. Reporting research findings. Once data is collected from both the experimental and the control groups, a statistical analysis is conducted to find out if there are meaningful differences between the two groups. The American Psychological Association APA, publishes a manual detailing how to write a paper for submission to scientific journals. Unlike an article that might be published in a magazine like Psychology Today, which targets a general audience with an interest in psychology, scientific journals generally publish peer-reviewed journal articles aimed at an audience of professionals and scholars who are actively involved in research themselves. Peer review also ensures that the research is described clearly enough to allow other scientists to replicate it, meaning they can repeat the experiment using different samples to determine reliability. Reliability and validity. Reliability refers to the ability to consistently produce a given result. Validity refers to the extent to which a given instrument or tool accurately measures what it's supposed to measure. R. Consistent. Results satisfy objectives. Ethics in research. OpenStax trademark. College. Learning objectives. By the end of this section, you will be able to discuss how research involving human subjects is regulated. Summarize the processes of informed consent and debriefing. Explain how research involving animal subjects is regulated. Ethics in research. Informed consent, participants must be given a written description of what they can expect, including potential risks and implications of the research, before it is ethical to use them in an experiment. The Tuskegee experiment. Deception involves purposely misleading experiment participants in order to maintain the integrity of the experiment, but not to the point where the deception could be considered harmful. Debriefing. Upon conclusion of the study complete, honest information about the purpose of the experiment, how the data collected will be used, the reasons why deception was necessary, and information about how to obtain additional information about the study. Animal research. Rats, like the one shown here, often serve as the subjects of animal research. Whereas IRBs review research proposals that involve human participants, 
Animal experimental proposals are reviewed by an Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee, IACUC. Mm-hmm.